If you've never foamed a Pelican case before, it can be a little intimidating because the last thing that you want to do is screw up $100 in Pelican case foam. So in this episode, I show you exactly step-by-step -step how to go through this process. There's a really easy way to do it. Also, I intentionally make a mistake so that you can see what to do in case you make a mistake as well. So if you've got all your stuff and you're ready to go, let's get started. There's a couple things that you're going to need. You'll need some colored toothpicks, a box cutter or X-Acto knife, and of course your Pelican case with the foam. What I'm using for this one is a pluck foam. So this one is much simpler than having to cut it yourself. You just mark out the grid on what you wanna pull out and what you wanna leave behind. I'll show you exactly how to do that. And then we're going to go through and pluck out sections for all our gear. This one's really great because there are a lot of different shaped items in this. And so I'll show you how to do abnormal shapes as well as square ones. Another thing that I would also recommend is making sure that you get the lid organizer. This thing is a lifesaver and it allows you to use that space that would normally be wasted in the lid. Okay, so here we have our Pelican case all ready to go. It has the foam in it that came from amazon.com and this will come default in the Pelican case with the right size as long as you order it as a complete set. If you order the foam separate from the Pelican case, just be sure to order the right size. Now we need to know what exactly are we going to store in the Pelican case? And to do this, set all your items aside and kind of take a look at how big they are. Keep in mind that there is a little bit of space on the lid, so you wanna make sure that if you do put it in vertically that it doesn't protrude too much out of the top of the foam because it's just going to hit the lid. Once you've kind of decided where things are gonna be placed, this is where the colored toothpicks come into play. So before you just start ripping out foam and making mistakes, you have to plan ahead. And in order to do this, I use the colored toothpicks to stake out the edges of where each item is going to be. Now, you do wanna make sure that you only do this one item at a time because what happens if you needed a little extra wiggle space and you already marked out the other pieces? Well, you might end up having no foam in between them if you pluck too much. So what I would do is first lay everything out the way that you think it's going to be, and then start in the corner and start plucking out the first one. This is really easy to do. All you have to do is get your hands in there and just kind of rip out the foam a little bit at a time. Just be very, very gentle. So this is the top layer. Again, it's three layers deep. So I'm just going through and I'm plucking the edges. And if you find that one is not perforated too much, you can just go in with the X-Acto knife or box cutter and just give it a little bit of help. But don't use the box cutter primarily to cut it because you might cut crooked. So I've dug out the top layer here, and now what I'm going to do is just measure the item to see if there's a little bit of space on the edges, if I made it too tight or too wide. This is your chance to correct it before you go on and start digging out the other layers. So this is all dug up. It looks like it's good to go. And now I'm going to start digging down and I'm going to pull out the exact same foam. I'm just gonna go straight down through the bottom. Now, if you find it's a little bit tight, that's okay. You can just pull out one additional row and it's really easy. Adjust your toothpicks as needed and make sure to look at the toothpicks around it. A good rule of thumb is to leave at least three rows in between each item. You can leave a little bit more, but since these items are already in another bag, they're double cushioned as is. So for me, three is perfectly fine. All right, we got that one done. Now let's go on to the next one. You wanna go into the other corner now and just kind of work your way across. So we're gonna measure out this one and we're gonna take a look at it. Use those toothpicks to mark out the edges. Don't be afraid to pick them up and move them. It's really just trial and error. So what's really great about the plucked foam is that the edges already have quite a width of border. So you don't need to add additional rows in order to cushion it from the edge. Just go ahead and mark around where you need the item to be. So as I'm plucking this out, I'll just talk about Pelican cases in general. These things are amazing. More than once I have looked out the airplane window and just seen them chucking it, you know, a couple thousand dollars in camera gear just getting thrown out of the airplane into the baggage cart. So what's really great about these is they are extremely durable. Um, some are waterproof. This one is just water resistant, but it really protects your gear. And to have my gear thrown out of helicopters and airplanes and boats 
and luggage carts and vehicles and buses and to survive. I've never had a Pelican case break. Um, this one is brand new, but my other Pelican cases are over 10 years old and two of them are uh, probably even older than that. I've owned them for 10 years, but the previous owner had them for, you know, some certain amount of time before that. So these are really old Pelican cases and they continue to work to this day. They absolutely protect your gear um, and they really protect them from damage, from getting bumped um, and from the elements. Okay, that one is done. So let's take a look at an example. What I'm going to do is intentionally mess up the size of this one. I'm going to make it a little bit too big. So, oops, I plucked the foam a little bit too much and now it's a little bit loose. What do you do when that happens? Well, you can literally just push the foam back in and it tends to be fine. Um, when you do pull the item out, it might drag it with it. So what you can do is get a type of glue that is safe for foam. Uh, in the description box below, I will list a few types of glue that is safe for foam that won't chemically melt it. And then you can just glue the piece back on if you really wanted to. Uh, for me, you know, it's really not that big of an issue because this one is three levels deep. So I'm gonna show you a trick that doesn't require glue. All you have to do is swap out this one for the bottom one or the middle one. So you're going to take the one that was a mistake and put it at the very bottom because it's not going to matter, right? It'll just sit on the bottom. And then you're going to move the proper ones, the ones that are um, not yet cut and ruined, you're gonna move those to the top and now you have a second chance to cut out the correct shape. You know, if the very bottom layer is a little bit wider than the top, it, that really doesn't matter too much. It's really the act of pulling the item out that is the most difficult, you know, because it might be a little loose, a little wiggly. So, you know, the top part is almost like an anchor to hold it in the Pelican case, but if the very bottom layer is a little loose, that's totally fine. So that's a really easy way to fix this. Um, as long as you don't make multiple mistakes, you should be fine. But really with three layers, you technically can make a total of two mistakes and be totally fine. And then after that, you're just gonna have to glue it. So now what about shapes that aren't a perfect square? Well, if we take a look at this microphone, right? It's an unusual shape. And when you store it vertically in the case, you don't want a giant gap where it could be wiggling around, right? You really want it to be cradled and supported. So we have to make sure that each layer of the foam is a different width. At the very bottom, it's going to be very narrow and that's going to kind of cup and hold um, the end of the microphone. The middle one is going to be about the same size, right? That way it really anchors it down. And then the top one, because we have to have this little attachment piece, we will make this one slightly wider than the others. So you can see I pluck it out like this. And now if you look at it, it's almost Almost like a Tetris shape, right? Just, just play a game of Tetris throughout this whole thing. And there you have it, a professionally foamed Pelican case that will protect your gear and make all your stuff so much easier to use, transport, and organize when you're working out in the field filming. That's it for this tutorial. If you guys want more just like this, I do come out with them every week, so hit that subscribe button. What are you doing? Hit that button right now. Go, come on, get out of here.